This is how to play Day Tripper by the Beatles, and I'm going to show you the full song, so I'm going to show you the riff, and then the chords, and then the solo part. So I'm sure if you're watching this, you might be already familiar with the riff, but you maybe want to just know how to play the solo or whatever. But I'm, j I'm just going to quickly show you how to play the riff. So first of all, we're going to play an open E string, and then we're going to play three, four, three and four and then we're going to play the second fret of the A string and I, I like to bar the A and the D string on the second fret because we're going to go we're going to play them both quite quickly and then we play the D string open and then two on the A string, four on the D string, and then two on the A string, open on the D string, and then two on the D string. So that's um, it's a it's a E seven chord that's getting played as that riff is getting played um, in the verse, and then obviously it moves to it A seven. So we just move that riff up. So we move it up a like. So where we once played the open E string, we're gonna now play the open A string, and play exactly the same riff, but on we've moved it up. We just play that once, and then back to the E. So then we're going to play <coughs> the chorus. Well, it's not really the chorus, it's more like, it's just still the same verse. But it's really easy. Um, we're going to be playing seven chords. Four. I like to just play them as power chords, so they're not really seven chords. So if you just if you know that shape, it's basically that because you never really hear the full chord ring it out. She was a day tripper, one way ticket. Yes, yeah. so that's F sharp. It took me. We slide that up to an A, so it's the fifth fret. It took me so. Slide it down one to find out, and then we move that up. Because that's now a C sharp, so that'll be the fourth fret on the A string, sixth fret on the D string, sixth fret on the G string. Slide that down to back into the riff. So all together, like we play the riff and then we move it up, and then we play the riff again, and then we go into this bit. So I'll go over it again. She was a day tripper, one way to get yeah. It took me a slide that down one, move that up, so that's what we've got so far. So it does that twice, and then it goes into the solo after that chorus. <coughs> So we're going to be playing the riff again, but instead of it being based over an A chord, it's over a B7 chord. So that means we're going to start the riff off, not playing an open string, but we're going to be playing the B note, which is the second fret on the A string. And then we're going to hammer on to the first, so we're going to play the D string open and hammer on to the first fret. And then play the fourth fret on that D string. And then play the fourth fret on the G string. And then the second fret on the G string. So it sounds like this so far. Fourth fret back on the D string. But now we're going to play the second fret on the B string. Fourth fret back on the D string again. 
So it's fourth fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, fourth fret on the G string, so it's like a little box. plays that a couple of times, I think it plays it three times, and then he goes into the solo. So that's the first part of the solo. So what we're doing there is fourth fret on the G string, third fret on the B string, and then we go back to the third fret on the B string. So what that we're doing there is we're bending up on the fifth string, fifth fret of the B string, and then with our pinky finger, playing the fifth fret on the E string, and then bending back down. So we bend down, third fret, second part. So you want to try and get like a nice smooth from getting all the way down there to all the way up there. So the next part of the solo, we're going up to the 12th fret on the B string. And again, we've got ourselves a nice little box. So it would be the 12th and the 10th. So 12th on the B string. 10th fret on the E string, 12th fret on the B string, back up to the 10th fret on the E string, up to the 12th fret on the E string. So what we're doing there is we're just bending the 12th fret up and then down. And then, it basically just lets these two notes ring out, which is the 7th fret on the B and E string. And then back into the riff. So all together it should sound like this. There's one more verse after that, and again, it's just the same chords that we've done before with these power power chords. Um, so there was a lot to take in there. Um, I'm sure you, whatever bit you want to play this song, you'll just go and find it in the video and just go over it. Uh, but if you've got any questions, just submit them in the comments below, and I'll I'll try and get back to you. Well, I will get back to you. So, ooh, Beatles pick, uh, Barrison in it. Uh, see you later.